Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3 with Mickey D. There was one thing that I changed in my inventory, or uh, as far as my equipment goes. I equipped Ryu with the silver knife here because I forgot I'll actually be running into a lot of enemies here that are really weak to the holy property. So that'll be really useful in this next dungeon here. And we are on our way basically here to the catacombs of Windia. Let's see if I get any new monsters. Yeah. So we have uh, the ghoul here. And I believe that the ghoul teaches, uh, or he has a skill called Bone Dance, I want to say. But I could be wrong on that. Let's see if I can learn it. I'll examine him a few rounds. And if he doesn't use it. Well, see, he has Bone Dart. But I'm not too sure if that's. If he has Bone Dance that I'm looking for. I forget, so I'm going to examine him a few rounds. Oh, I think he only has Bone Dart, actually. So, I'm just going to kill him off. Anyways, he's not very hard to beat, especially with the Silver Knife. It does a whole lot of damage, so... We find ourselves in this room, in this area, with a bunch of tombstones. Now, check one of these tombstones have, where you go above or beneath is up to you, and above and beneath are green and red. There's a little puzzle, <clears throat> excuse me, a little puzzle in this, in this area. I'm going to push the green button, and I'll show you what you need to do. If you come over here, let's see who I get. So you just walk across these pillars here, and you'll find this giant tombstone, and this says here, Treasure to he who pushes the seven words. The seven is in green. And the path opens to he who learns the seven words, and the seven is in red. So that is the only hint that the game will give you as far as this puzzle goes. It took me forever as a child to figure out what the hell I was supposed to do. And basically it goes a little something like this. Um, this guy's pretty easy. You guys, you guys know what nut mages are. I've dealt with these guys before. Basically, what you want to do is you want to press on each tombstone. There's a green word, and you want to press in that green word. If you ever press the red word, you'll fall down below. So, I think I've already pressed this button, but what I want to press is the green word, the above. Now, it said a treasure goes to one who presses the green words, or the green seven words. And the path outside is given to the one who remembers the red words. <clears throat> and so what that's supposed to get, you know, what that's supposed to hint at is the fact that you'll get a treasure if you push all the green words. And the way that you get out of here is by remembering all of the red words. Some bolts here. They're not too tough. Uh, they can be a little bit of a problem in this area, though, when they're paired up with this other volt like creature who's called a Thunder. And <clears throat> he can be pretty annoying because I'm sure we'll run into him, but he'll cast Jolt, which is a Thunder attack, on the Volts and Thunders. And it will actually level the Volt up so that the Volt can use Jolt. And basically, you just get a bunch of Jolt spammers, and they can take off a lot of life. So, once again, I'm just going to all these tombstones and pressing the green button in. And I, I was saying that... Is there anything over here? I don't believe so. Nope. I was saying that if you remember the seven red words, that's how you get out of here. The later in the game, or later in the game, later in this dungeon, we will literally have to input the red words to get out of here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just as simple as that. And like I said, it took me a really, really long time as a kid to figure all this out. It was 
This is actually really stupid because I think I leveled here probably five or six times before I actually got out of this place. Just take care of these guys. So the next tombstones that I want to get to, I believe, here's this one. What is I think what really threw me off as a kid is that the reason why I couldn't figure this puzzle out is the fact that I would read way too much into the dialogue. Like, for instance, let's let's check this one out. It says, I remember you don't know. Like, what is that even supposed to mean to a kid, you know? Like, <laughs> I, I probably was, was thinking, like, you know, there's some monster that I have to hunt. I don't know. Anyways, that's my long story as far as the tombstones go. You can pick up this chest for a panacea, and I think I've explained before, but the panacea is just like a remedy in Final Fantasy. It gets rid of all the status ailments and all that stuff. Like this one, it is a high place, but not here. And I was thinking something like, I probably would jump off this ledge when I was a kid, stuff like that. You know, I was just, I was really confused at this whole scenario. So we're gonna push in that green button. And now I think we've, we've essentially pushed in all of them. So now that we've pushed in all of the tombstones, or the green words on the tombstones, we can go back to this big tombstone, and that's how we'll collect our treasure. So we're just gonna go over here, and it's gonna tell us the same thing as it did before. We've already pushed all the green words in, so now we just need to push the button here, and it will lead us down to this treasure, just like it said it would. And in that treasure is the light bangle, which is a really, really good accessory. So good that it is defense against status changes. It doesn't say how much defense, but I'll tell you, it's 75% against status changes, which is a huge, huge, um, it's just, that's a huge percent to be dealing with right now. So I'm going to equip that on him and give Nina all the other stocked uh, accessories that we have. But, if, in case you were wondering, if you tried to press that green, or the big button on the tombstone without pressing... Oh, here's the new enemy, Thunder. They're, they're nothing when they're alone. If you tried to press in the, the big tombstone, if you tried to press that button without already pressing all the other green button tombstones, it won't do anything. It won't bring you down to that level to get the white bangle and also with that if you ever press any of the red buttons that were on the tombstone you'll get thrown down to this area so that's why you want to press the green you know the green words well it's taking a little bit of a beating here so I'm just gonna heal up with Ryu nothing too serious just taking a little bit of a little bit of abuse from the monsters so now we climb back up, we can grab this treasure, which is pretty nice, a glass domino, it's a, it's an upgraded helmet from the brass helm right now, I mean, it gets plus six defense, you know, that's pretty good right now, and after we're done with that, now we can get out of here, since we collected our treasure, and the way that we do that is, we go to the big stone, the big tombstone on the top of, uh, this hill that I was currently at, or that I'm, that I'm just about to go up here. I, I already went up there once. These zombies are gonna take forever. But anyways, I, uh, my person, my personal opinion on this dungeon, man, I really hate it. It's, um, uh, God, come on, man. My, my party's really slow, or my Ryu's slow. I, I really hated this dungeon because of the fact that I, as a kid, I would run into a bunch of thunders and jolts, and and like I told you, we haven't run into them yet, but they'll power each other up and they'll start spamming jolt, and it just it's just hell. It just so it does so much damage, and you know, running around, I was completely confused what to do. It's just a big mess. So this is the tombstone that you want to go to for when you want to leave, 
It says here, remember the red words, not the green. The words are actually switches. Now, the thing is with this is that it doesn't it doesn't show you which gr words are red or which ones are green. I know the sequence that you're supposed to put this in. However, if you don't know it, you have to literally go to every tombstone and you have to write down or memorize each red word that's on the tombstone, which is seven of them. And, you know, you have to come over here and, and put the put the sequence in correctly. <clears throat> but I know it because I've played the game so often. I actually have a little number system to this. It's called I call it one 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 three two two two. And by that I mean one as in the first selection, two as the second selection, and three. So if you ever do that, if you're ever been if you're ever here without this guide, that's the uh, that's the combination you want to do is one 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 three two two two. And we drop all the way down here and we're pretty much out of the catacombs now. I wouldn't expect you to hear of them, Nina. You barely get out of the castle corridors anyways. Shut up, man. You're like 11 years old. You aren't, you aren't helping anyone. Secret treasure there. Really nice item to pick up is a wisdom fruit. The wisdom fruit... It heals 100 AP... Uh, to... The, uh... Yeah, yeah, it just heals 100 AP. Sorry, I was having a brain fart there. <coughs> And I believe that that's the highest, I, uh, highest restorative item that you can get for AP, as far as that goes. Just taking care of some ghouls and zombies there. And as we continue along here, I think we can leave this place. Oh, one more battle. Man, Ryu's definitely getting a lot stronger. He just did 300 damage with a critical to that zombie. This is the burial ground. Oh, so this must be the cemetery for the for the royal family. Anyways, we find ourselves here at Windia now. But yeah, Ryu's power is getting a little bit up there because of leveling up under Bunyan. He uh, he hit that 300 against that zombie just now and. You know, granted, I'm using the silver knife and everything. It was, it was a lot of damage to do. It's one of this pretty peaceful town where they bake bread. And say obnoxiously weird things. Like, ah, oh, what a nice breeze, isn't it? <clears throat> Can go into the castle there, I think. Let's see what happens never done this before. Hopefully, Nina gets in trouble. Really? That... <sighs> of course, you would have a plot... plot... F failure there. Anyways, you can talk to the civilians and all that stuff. They, they don't really have anything interesting to say. One thing I will say is that you can go in here, though, and pick up uh, kind of a cool item. That's the Moxa. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Moxa is a stat increaser. It will st uh, increase the stat of willpower. That is never really shown, but it's kind of an honor system, I guess. So you can, yeah, you can heal up, or you can increase your willpower there using Moxa. So I'll use that with writing. <clears throat> Talk to this person. She has a funny dialogue. <laughs> Let's see that again. I always come here to the to get the fresh croissants. Kind of a weird place. Well, anyways, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Next time I'll go downtown, or er, the lower level of this town, and show you guys what's up with that. So, till next time.